Ponder this for a moment. What would your life be like if you decided to drop out of college? Today, we delve into three captivating stories from my life journey. Let's embark on the first tale, a story about connecting the dots. The tale begins with me dropping out of Reed College after the first half year, yet I lingered around for another year and a half as a drop-in before I officially quit. Now, you might be wondering, why on earth would I do that? Well, this story begins even before my birth. My biological mother, a young and unwed graduate student, decided to put me up for adoption. She was adamant that I should be adopted by college graduates. All was set for me to be adopted by a lawyer and his wife at birth. But as fate would have it, they wanted a girl. So my parents, who were on a waiting list, received a call in the middle of the night. We have an unexpected baby boy. Do you want him? Without hesitation, they said, of course. However, my biological mother discovered later that my mother had never graduated from college and my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only agreed a few months later when my parents promised that I would attend college. And so, 17 years later, I did go to college. But I chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford and all of my working class parents' savings were being spent on my tuition. After six months, I didn't see the value in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and how college was going to help me figure it out. I was spending all the money my parents had saved their entire life. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. It was a frightening decision at the time, but looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I stopped taking the required classes that didn't interest me and began dropping in on the ones that seemed far more fascinating. It wasn't all rosy. I didn't have a dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I returned Coke bottles for the five cent deposits to buy food with, and I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna Temple. I loved it. Much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on. Reed College at that time offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. I decided to take a calligraphy class to learn how to do this. I learned about serif and sans serif typefaces, about varying the amount of space between different letter combinations, about what makes great typography great. None of this seemed to have any practical application in my life then. But 10 years later, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, it all came back to me. We designed it all into the Mac, the first computer with beautiful typography. If I had never dropped in on that single course in college, the Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or proportionally spaced fonts. And since Windows just copied the Mac... So that's the first story, the tale of how dropping out of college led to the creation of the first computer with beautiful typography. It's a story about trusting your gut, following your curiosity, and being open to the possibilities that life presents. Stay tuned for the next two stories where we will continue to explore the unconventional path that led to the creation of one of the most iconic products in the world.